Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. What we're going to talk about in this video is closed captions and accessibility settings for Fire TV devices. You might notice that different apps have different mechanisms for opening closed captions. But even if you know how to do it on every single app you use, you might find that the maybe the captions aren't large enough. Maybe they're too big. You know, maybe they're hard to read because of the color scheme, something like that. There's a way to fix that, and it's in the main settings for the Fire TV. You'll note that the main settings are available in that little gear at the end of the row, which pulls up this panel of different little blocks with different options to access things. And where you go for your settings like that is the accessibility settings. So you're going to click on this little block here with your controller. And you see right at the top of accessibility is closed caption. You're going to click on the closed caption and it will show you everything you need. Along with the closed captioning settings are other things like the Alexa captions, voice view, and even a screen magnifier if you need it. Luckily, there's a lot of built-in things for the people who need it. Because when you do need it, you know you're thankful for it. But in this case, we're going to mainly look at the closed captions section. So you're going to click on closed caption, and you see that right now it's turned off. So you don't have any choices. But as soon as you click on, the different choices for the types of closed captioning options come up. You see you have text, text background, background window, and just you know, your basic you know, settings and reset. If you mess it up too bad, you might need to go in there and reset it to defaults, which apparently is off. To change the size, you click where it says size. And I want to point something out that as you go into the menus, you can only make one selection before it pops back out into this main section. So, for instance, we're going to click on size and you see the different choices. We're at normal right now but we're going to go to very small. And you see, you're no longer in the section where you can choose the size. Again, change it back to just regular small, and it pops back out. You see color and so on. So you're going to have to select that size section every single time you're experimenting with the different size of the text. But you do see that it changes. You know, all the way to very large. That might take up a considerable amount of your TV screen, but if you need it, you need it. Along with that, you can change other types of settings in the closed caption. You might want to just stick with the standard black and white view in normal view. But if you like, you can change things around. Just remember, as soon as you select something, you know, large to small, small to default, it's always going to pop back out to the menu with other things. But within this menu, you can do things like change the coloring of the text. You know, that might be cool if you're, you know, watching a horror movie, so you want it to be red for the horror movie. Be trickier for people who are colorblind. You can also change out things like the opacity. That's the level of brightness in the text. I don't think it's particularly helpful to make the text dimmer, but if it's something with your vision that this actually helps, then you can go for it. But I find that you're going to prevent yourself from, you know, seeing the contrast if you mess with that too much. But you can do it. You can also change the 
basic font. So while you have a standard setup, you know, in the this is preview, you can even go with a cursive, you know, which, hey, maybe you're watching Downton Abbey and you want to, you know, get more with the feel of the show with your cursive font, you know. But in general, I don't like to mess with that kind of thing. My wife does use closed captions and we kind of keep it with the defaults and the normal way to do it. But in general, these settings are going to make a big difference for anybody who uses closed captions. And if you need to get to other settings like the you know, screen readers and things like that, you see where to do it via the accessibility settings. I hope this video is helpful. If this is something you needed to find out, please give us a like, share this video with your friends, and if you're not already, please subscribe to our channel because this is what we try to do. We look at what, what are people struggling with, what do people need to learn about. We pop a video out there for you. Please comment if this helps you and let us know if we're doing a good job for you. As always, I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.